welcome to our snow day. So b since we can't have class today, but there's stuff we have to be doing and we have to keep moving forwards, we're going to have an online class today. And here's how that's going to work. So um, the first thing that we usually do would be to have the vocabulary test on Thursdays. But since um, we're going to be having class online today, we're going to do the vocabulary test um, first, and then we'll have the grammar test quiz. Sorry, quiz. Oh, that's terrible. Look, I called it a test, and it's not supposed to be that, that stressful. We're going to call it a quiz here. So we're going to do the gr vocabulary quiz today, and we'll have the grammar quiz on Thursday. So what you need to do is from our, actually, you can go to Quizlet.com, search for academic, Coxhead's academic word list of 100 words by Ramona Hopf. But you have to go like three screens in to do that. It might be easier if from our website, you just went to, um, where is it? That right here, Coxhead's academic word list. And that should take you right to the academic word list. You can click on test, and then you can do all the things that you need to do. So um, take the test, save it as a PDF file to your computer, and then submit it to the link in Blackboard in the Unit 2 Snow Day folder. There's a tutorial um, there that will show you how to do that. So you may want to watch that tutorial. The next thing you need to do is submit a private journal posting with the link through the link in the Unit 2 Snow Day folder. And in this private journal posting for 25 points, you're going to do a summary of the previous article. Because I read the summaries that were in the reading logs, and they were really thin summaries. And that's when you write a thin summary, it doesn't really help you with when you have to do a research paper or when you have to do an essay. You really want to have a good summary, exactly the way that chapters 1, 2, and 3 of the textbook was, was talking about. It really helps your reader a lot. So this is to help write more robust summaries. I want you to type the sentence and complete it in his article, comma, junk food is the new tobacco, comma, Bloodworth's main point is, and decide on what he's really saying here. Then in your textbook, go to pages 46 and 47 and use those templates to do that quote sandwich where you introduce a quote and then you comment on the quote from that text. Then go to pages 58 and 59 or page 62, whether you want to disagree or agree, and use the templates there to add three more sentences so that you can have a nice six sentence paragraph, which will be a nice robust summary. Submit that through, the, you'll be typing it straight into the private journal, or you can type it in your word processor and then put it in the private journal. Here's how you find that. In our Blackboard course, um, here you'll see, here's the vocabulary test. We're in unit two, which is located right here. And then here you'll see the Snow Day article analysis due Wednesday at noon. Click there. And then, um, oh, no, here's the summary. I'm going to move the summary up so it's right there. So first you do the vocabulary test. Here's the link for the article summary. And then here's the link for the article analysis, which I will now tell you about. So the next thing you need to do is in the blog area of our Blackboard site, post your analysis of the appeals in the Bloodworth article. And you have to figure out what's his most effective evidence, what's his emotional appeal, his logical appeal, and what authority does he invoke to get you to trust his point of view. The way you do this is you can just click right here on the link here, Snow Day Analysis, due Wednesday at noon. Here are the questions you need to do, and that's what you have to fill out for that. So the full um, assignment for our Snow Day is vocabulary test, robust summary, and then analysis of appeals. The homework for Thursday is to choose an article from the They Say, I Say blog in the junk, Is Junk Food the New Tobacco area. Here, so I'm going to show you where to find the link, and I need you to write a reading log for that. Submit it for the article that you chose. Th you'll see the link in our Unit 2, and we'll be discussing these articles on Thursday in class. Here's how you find them. Come in here, go to our Readings area, click on Article of Your Choice from the Fast Food area, and here we are in the They Say, I Say blog. And you'll find here on the side, there is Fast Food, the New Tobacco. Click there. And you'll have a whole bunch of articles to choose from. There's lots to pick. And they will all be very useful to you as you uh, begin to work on this analysis that we're doing for the next essay. As ever, I'm on email all the time. Please let me know if you have any questions.